Hello good dear viewers, in this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this simple problem which is related to cycle. The question stated that the area of the larger cycle is twice that of the smaller cycle. Find the area of the larger cycle taking pi as 3.14 and the diameter of the smaller cycle is given as 2 meter. So what we are required to find here is the area of this larger cycle. The only relationship between the smaller cycle and the bigger cycle is that the bigger cycle is twice as big as the smaller cycle. So let the area of the smaller cycle be denoted by lowercase letter a equal to pi r squared. You know this is the formula for an area of a cycle. And let the area of the bigger cycle be denoted by capital A pi capital R squared. So let's begin with this one. A is equal to pi. What is R? Since the diameter is 2 meter, you know, radius is half of the diameter. Therefore, if you divide 2 meter by 2, you have 1 meter. Therefore, our radius is 1 squared here, right? If you simplify this, you have A to be equal to just pi meter squared. So what about the bigger cycle? Um, to find the area of the bigger cycle you need the radius as well. But you should know that the distance between this cycle to this smaller cycle and this other part must be the same. So if I should call this x, this must be x. So we need to find the value of x. And if this is the center of the cycle, remember from the center to this point is 1. So from the center to the other end will be 1 plus x. Therefore, the radius of the bigger cycle will be 1 plus x meter. So now let us substitute it here. We have the area to be equal to pi 1 plus x squared. But according to this statement, it stated that the area of the bigger cycle is twice the area of the smaller cycle, which means capital A is equal to 2 small a. So now let us substitute. What is the area of the bigger cycle? It is given as pi 1 plus x squared. And this is equal to twice the smaller cycle, which is just given as what? Pi. So this is the equation we need to solve for x. Since we know that pi is non-zero, we can cancel it from both sides. All we have is 1 plus x squared equal to 2. Let us take square root of both sides. We have 1 plus x to the left equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. Since we are looking for x, we have x equal to, we take this to the other side, it becomes negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 2. So x could either be negative 1 plus square root of 2 or x equal to negative 1 minus the square root of 2. But what do you know about x? x is a length. Therefore, a length cannot be negative. Therefore, we're going to discard this solution. We don't want it. But this is positive indeed. So it means the value of that x is equal to negative 1 plus root 2. And we are asked to find the area of the larger cycle. And we already have the formula here. Let me just copy that. So this is the area of the larger cycle. Let us substitute the value of x. A will now be equal to pi. In bracket, we have 1 plus what is x. x is negative 1 plus root 2. We have root 2 minus 1. They are all the same. You should know that. Squared. This is equal to pi. Inside, this 1 will cancel this 1 because 1 minus 1 is 0. What do we have left? We only have root 2 inside, all squared. And you know root 2 squared will be 2. So in the end, we just have 2 pi as the area of the bigger cycle. But we are given the value of pi to use, which is what? 3.14. Therefore, finally, we have our area to be equal to 2 multiplied by 3.14.
and if you multiply them together you have 6.28 you can now bring back the unit which is meter squared and hence the area of that bigger cycle is 6.28 meter squared as simple as that thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye